Nabil Deeb, I'm a director of uh, cardiovascular uh, and the translational research uh, at Dignity Health. Uh, I'm interventional uh, cardiologist with uh, 25 years of experience in a clinical practice and a clinical trial. I've participated in over 100 clinical trials uh, for medical product uh, development, uh, being involved in education, um, innovation, and clinical practice. Obviously, uh, over uh, the years, as you see, the advancement in the science to meet the demand of the patient and uh, the minimal approach or minimal surgical approach is preferable by the patient. Uh, uh, the uh, uh, reducing the need of general anesthesia and uh, aggressive or expansive expanded surgery is very important from patient of, uh, point of view for uh, less risk and uh, better recovery. And uh, as you see uh, over the years, over the last 30 years, uh, there was major development after bypass surgery is the percutaneous approach uh, because uh, opening an artery is, uh, while the patient is awake uh, and uh, recovery very fast, instead of three months recovery, it will take a few days recovery. That's very important from patient of, uh, point of view. And uh, the same thing we are seeing now for structural heart, uh, changing the approach, the access from a very ex uh, uh, um, extensive surgery uh, to a minimal uh, approach with a catheter technology. Uh, and that's very, very important for patient, uh, less risk and uh, faster recovery. This is again a uh, similar approach. Uh, how can we minimize uh, the risk uh, for patient and uh, uh, expedite uh, the recovery? Uh, so currently, uh, most of the structural heart procedures, uh, including the most uh, commonly right now, appendage closure devices is used under general anesthesia and the transesophageal echo uh, in place. Uh, uh, and. Um, uh, we are trying the the, tra the double lumen uh, ultra nav uh, catheter system as will eliminate uh, the need uh, for the general anesthesia and for the transesophageal echo, make it much safer and easier for patient. And the precise visualization that we can obtain in the catheters uh, should reduce uh, the most important complication in those procedure, which is mean perforating of the heart. Even though the percent of heart perforation is about 2%, but the uh, consequences is cat catastrophic and reach 50% mortality. Uh, so the accurate visualization should reduce that major uh, complication. And consequently, a good uh, visualization uh, make the procedure easier uh, for the doctors. Uh, from a, a hospital point of view, uh, uh, the uh, uh, procedure will be uh, cheaper. There is expected reduction in cost by 30%. So as you see, the catheter advantage has a, a patient of a few advantage, which is safer for patients, is easier to do. The procedure can be done while the patient is awake. Uh, from a physician point of view, it's easier for the physician and less stress because his accurate visualization always helpful. From hospital point of view, it's... Uh, uh, the procedure can be done by one doctor. You don't need to the schedule. is will be much easier, but also more important is the cost. Uh, cost reduction is important. So that we think we view the the catheter to have several advantage in a structural heart heart uh, disease, and we do think this is will be a novel a platform for structural heart intervention. Will work for a variety of procedure. Whether you are doing a bandage closure device, atrial ablation, AFib ablation, which is a very common uh, procedure we do, or in a, uh, or a mitral valve repair or tricuspid valve repair. So it's uh, it's symbols. Uh, the the catheter is a double lumen catheter designed to align perfectly. Uh, the uh, ultrasound beam with the needle and needle tip. Um, uh, so, uh, and, and the double lumen is designed to transport uh, the uh, ice catheter or the ultrasound catheter from right to left to provide a, a perfect visualization. In case, for example, a bandage uh, closure device, uh, 
which is a very common. And we have used uh, uh, the system in uh, approximately, like what you say, 15 patients. Um, and the, uh, so we uh, placed the ice uh, um, and uh, the needle in within the system. Uh, that system will be advanced to the uh, superior vena cava. And uh, uh, we align the image perfectly. And all what we need to do just bring the catheter back uh, to the septum and you see perfect visualization. And if uh, the device, uh, uh, if the procedure, for example, a bandage closure device, we align perfectly the catheter orientation with the uh, a bandage. And we just, uh, we see the needle, we cross safely because we see the tip of the needle. The tip of the needle is a critical to avoid perforation. And that's a major a first uh, uh, step that is major advantage for this system. Uh, and then uh, the minute you cross, uh, with the uh, a needle, uh, you remove usually the needle and access with the wire instead as a typical standard procedure we do. Uh, and after wire in place, you just retrieve the ice to inside the system, advance the system uh, as a whole uh, to the left atrium until the lumen of the ultrasound catheter is in the left atrium. All what you need to do, just advance the catheter. Uh, currently, what we do is a uh, uh, we try to advance the whole catheters to cross, uh, but the catheter does not have a tracking. So it will require uh, a lot of manipulations and, and possible trauma or injury uh, for the myocardium. So now we make it much easier, uh, literally two, three minutes procedures now to cross. And the minute you cross there, then the ice catheter can image perfectly the appendage and uh, in the same time, you can place the device, you can be looking at the device, see what we call compression and leak of device and the expansion, the perfect expansion of the device. Um, the minute it's done, you just release the device and you take all everything's out. And our patient, we send them home in four hours after the procedures. And they were awake during the procedure talking or listening to their best music that they would like to. So uh, 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 that is uh, the unique, the platform that we are talking about. And that's a platform could be used for a variety of uh, structural heart procedure in the future. I think the, uh, the, uh, this uh, kind of uh, system uh, obviously will change the way uh, that we do structural heart procedures. Uh, better for patients, easier for doctors, and less cost for hospitals.